The Cyanochromus Friari is most commonly referred to as the Electric Blue Ali or the Electric Blue Hat. It's a species of cichlid in Lake Malawi that can reach up to 7 to 8 inches in length. It's a very popular fish in the hobby because of its electric blue coloring and availability. The males are very bright blue in the body with some white on top of the dorsal fin and orange on the anal fin. Some may even have a white blaze depending which part of the lake they were from. The females can grow 5 to 6 inches and stay mostly gray as most African cichlid females. If you're new to the channel, my name is George, I'm an African cichlid fish keeper and breeder and this is Species Spotlight. In these videos I share knowledge that I have learned throughout the years on these fish as well as research that I have done to share with you all the information you're ever going to need to know about this fish. If you like this type of content, I post two to three times a week, so consider subscribing. And if you want to see more of this content, make sure to hit the like button. Let's proceed. Through line breeding, there are many different types of Cyanochromus friari available to us today. You might have seen in the video a white friari that is called the White Knight. You could actually see him on the screen now. You can notice he has the same body shape as the other one. He's just completely white. Another type of friari is the Iceberg, which extends that white blaze all the way down to the belly area and even has white eyelids. I'll show you an example here on the screen. Now as you can see in my tank, I actually have three different types of fry array. I have the, fr the regular fry array, the white knight, and the iceberg. Now with African cichlids, this is a quick tip from me to you, but if you have multiple of the same species in the same tank, they tend not to get along. Luckily for me, I have enough fish in this tank that when they do get aggressive, they don't end up killing each other. They might pull off some scales, but hey, that's boys being boys. African cichlids are mostly classified into five different types. Embuna, Haps, Peacock, cichlids from Lake Tanganyika, and cichlids from Lake Victoria. Cyanochromus friari are Haps. Although they are haps, just like other haps besides predator haps, they can be kept with peacocks. They don't get much larger than the peacocks do, especially if you're keeping them in the same tank. And in my experience, they're pretty mild-mannered. They're not going to be the fish in your tank that's causing trouble most of the time. Here's a full shot of the tank. See if you can spot out all three types of fry right in here. As far as food goes, the Cyanochromus friari prefers a mix of protein and veggies. A high quality cichlid pellet is very important to get your African cichlids to display the best color. I have been using New Life Spectrum for years and highly recommend them and have used Norfin as well and it has worked well too. The ideal temperature range for these fish is from 78 to 81 degrees. Remember the warmer you go, the more active the fish will get and the more aggression you will have too. I recommend if it's a display tank, keep it around 78 degrees and they're gonna do just fine. Most African cichlids also prefer water with a pH of 7.6 to 8.4 and these are no exception. My tap water comes out at 7.8 to 8.0, so I've never had a problem with that. As far as breeding these fish, it's pretty much the same as any other African cichlid that I've taken care of. And you want to have ideally one male to five or six females. I wouldn't put them in anything smaller than a 40 gallon breeder for these fish, seeing as they can grow to seven or eight inches and for your display tank you're really looking at probably about a 75 gallon if you want to have them with some other fish at the very minimum. The tank you're seeing on the screen is our 120 gallon display tank. Uh, we have these three cyanochromus friari with a wide variety 
of other peacocks, haps, and we even have a couple in Buna in here. We got, I think, all three of these Friarai about a year ago, and they've grown a lot. I'll put a link to a video in the top right here if you're interested in seeing when we got the fish. I did an unboxing on them. If I missed anything or if you have any questions about these fish, please feel free to leave it down in the comments below. If you learned anything, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, consider subscribing. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching.